Hello and welcome to the next installment. I think this is number 12 already. When did that happen? Um, it was supposed to be number 13, but when I was just recording the last whole batch of what I did, um, I had a glitch and lost the 20 minutes that I spent on the original number 12 installment. Uh, so, welcome. You missed out on something really cool and inspirational. Bump, 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 bump. Look at the her. Look at the her. Oh, ha, ha. Ha, 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 ha. This is why I'm so bummed that you didn't get to see the last bit of it where I was doing all of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I did this. It's pretty obvious, pretty simple, except for one little thing that I came upon as I was talking to you and I didn't realize that um, you were never going to see it. <laughs> we had a whole conversation that was gone. Um, so, pretty cool, right? <laughs> except, for, <laughs> except for the mullet. You gotta love the mullet. The mullet's pretty awesome. Reminds me of high school. Dun, 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 dun. Business in the front. Party in the back, baby! Um, so, yeah. So, what you missed is me figuring out how to do this with the glue. Between this glue, which is great stuff. It's the thick version of it, so it doesn't just run all over as I've mentioned before, and my fingers, my fat fingers, because I had some chubby fingers up in here. So I mounted the head, dun, dun, dun. mounted the head, made it so that it's partially locked down, but so that it's malleable, so that I'm not fighting it. And what I did was I took the hair, and it's rather well affixed because I put an ad additional layer of glue and I'm going to put more on it, but I'm going to, um, you'll see what I'm going to do. I took, per my sister's suggestion, I used the bobby pins to help the glued down hair stay where it is. And I'm just going to leave that one there because it's not coming away. But what I did was I took the hair in small amounts, which is what I was trying to do before. So I just took the top part as I'd shown you. But what I did was I took it in a thin layer, wrapped my finger around it, took my other hand, pressed it. I'm doing it so you can see sort of pressed it down on the edge and left it there. See, I get this little curl, right? So then what I did was I got my glue and I tacked glue right there, making sure that the hair is actually spread wide. So I did this all the way around up here in one layer, and then I did another layer. So now let's talk. Let's figure out if this is something I'm going to do on this layer as well. Let's look. So if I do this and I take just the top part of it, right? I take just a small layer of it. See that? Just a small layer. Ooh. I wrap it around my finger, place it down. What's going to happen in the back? So what are my options in the back now? I hadn't really thought of it that much. Because then what I did was I took the next layer, and but it was significantly longer. So I had options to do more of that. I think that would look really weird if the hair does that curling around the, the back, right? So I'm wondering if I just give her, him, them, them, if I just give them a haircut, what do you think? Give them a haircut so that it trims, it comes down to maybe like layers. So if I take the hair out like this, cut off the top areas and then let it, instead of having this really, really super long here, so I could take it, comb it directly out from the head and make it so it's in profile so you can see a little bit better. 
There we go. Off from the head, and then I would cut straight up so that the lower parts are longer. Yeah, because there's like weird layers going on up in here. It's like longer on up here than it is. I guess they're trying to do a wedge or something. I really don't know. But I want to leave the very, very bottom weird fringe. I think there's a layer in between that's like shorter. It is. So it goes down to like a shelf here, and then suddenly this is longer underneath. Very, very strange. So I'm not really sure what to do with the hair. But anyway, so let me show you the front, and then I'll finish up and cut this hair in the back and see what I can do with it. So looky here. I did the under thing, and then I took longer strands, and I took the longer strand from over here, curled it around my finger, twirled it around my finger, I should say, and then glued it back here so that it covered up this weird, like, just like one curl. It was like this, basically. But what the trick was behind it, instead of like I had been doing, of just curling the hair back tight, I curled, I brought it up, and I left a lot of room to it. So then what happens is you get this cool, more natural, oddly enough, body with this under layer of, of coming out from the head and then doing that. Um, is it annoying that you're only seeing half of my head? Probably not, right? So, pretty cool, right? Came out really nice. I glued it the heck out of it. So I glued it initially so it was just tacked. And then I took the glue and I went around and did a bead of glue, took the end of this, because it's metal, and laid it on it so that that glue would stick to all the hair in the in the way or on the way. So that way if it's a if it's like a clump of hair it'll hold the hairs to one another, and then part of that will get glued on and stick to the plastic that's underneath. What I do find is it does not really stick to the foam part in the inside for whatever chemical reason, but it does stick. Remember her? I'm going to get her out of the way. Uh, it does stick really well. <laughs> Look at this. My paint's got a nice little toupee. <laughs> I won't tell you who that reminds me of. Um, former president. Uh, so yeah. So it all sticks down and it's doing pretty well. It's staying there. It does not stick to the foam, probably chemical thing. Sticks to the rubber rather very well, rubber plastic. So let's, finish up with the back of the hair here. All right, let's just, I'm just going to dig in and see what I can do. I don't really know what to do. So I've got those, got this curl here. That looks good. But then like, what do you do? Just, it suddenly becomes non-curl. Or do I continue curling? Wait, wait, wait. So what if I take this when it keeps going back? Oh, what if... The rest, oh no, that would look terrible. I was going to say, I could put it in a ponytail, but it's not, it's like really much shorter down here, real scruffy. So let's just get rid of this top layer, maybe. Oh, I don't know what to do. So there's that. I could, that's just weird, because then suddenly it's pulling like from the hairline down there. All right, I'm just going to give her a trim here. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go at an angle. Oh, that's already better. Holy moly. All right. Try not to cut my own fingers as I do this. Gently, Patrick. I could also thin it, which would probably, I bet you you're saying, yeah, Patrick, duh, thin it to make it less sort of lumpy. How do you thin it? You do, without cutting yourself, you cut directly into it, like this. And what it does is it sort of makes it so that you don't have this blunt, straight on 
row of hair cut, you don't have this line or there you go line of hair it's instead it's like this and it lays flatter and gentler it's already better actually just getting rid of a lot of this top layer <laughs> oh my gosh I'm just making it up now remember what is the reminder constantly where is this going? It's going outside. Does it need to be perfect? No. How many people are gonna really be looking at the back of it? Not many. Am I gonna know that it's there? Yes. Oh, this is a great way to do it. Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh God, that made a mess. So not such a great way to do it because it took away a lot. So maybe scissors up and down are better. Well, it's flattening out the back. Not so poofy. Maybe it's just because this top layer is so weird. My husband and I have this silly thing that we say, and we've said it for many years. So I'll be like, oh, that's just so weird or um you're so weird and it's so it started because our nephew for some reason trent hi trent bet you're not watching this um your mom may be and i know your aunt is and your nana is um so trent at one point it's hilarious you'd like say something you're like oh that's so strange and, he, and he'd say your face is strange or, you know, don't do that. That That's not nice. Your face is not nice. So this was, <laughs> so this is really clever, um, very preteen. Uh, I don't even remember how young he was, quite honestly. Uh, he's 18 now. So however old, old he was then. But it was pretty, I mean, it was very silly, funny response that we all kind of went, ooh, I kind of like that. It's so ridiculous. And... Um, and he's just such a smart, nice, nice kid that for him to come back with these <laughs> very funny response. Of course, in my family, it's not like you just go, oh, Trent, that's so silly. Don't say that. So instead, what you do is you torture him with his own words. And so because <laughs> when the adults pick it up and the adults start saying it, it's no longer very cool. And it's no longer very clever because those stupid adults ruin everything. And so um, he was just so cute. He's it's still cute. He's still a sweetheart. Um, he's such a good kid. Um, brilliant, lovely, and um, super talented. Very, very, very proud of him. Um, his mommy and daddy did a good job with him. And he's doing a good job with his own life. But anyway, so... Um, this thing was very, very cute. It was so Lee and I, of course, being the um, pseudo adults that we are. Lee is my husband. Um, still use it to this day. Quite a bit. Uh, it is sort of our go-to <laughs> when somebody says something that's kind of like. Um, just silly or or we we really want the other person to pick up on the fact that we're you know we're just having fun um so it'll be you know whatever it's like oh your hair is shaggy well your face is shaggy and then we sort of expanded it weirdly enough to well your mother's face is shaggy and then we would just leave it leave it at that why it became your mother's anything because both our mothers are amazing people, or his mother was an amazing person. A lovely, lovely southern genteel lady. Why it became that, I don't know, but it, it, it completely went there and still goes there. Uh, and it's not a comment on our mothers, oddly enough. It's just a stupid, silly comment that we make that happens to mention, well, your mother, blah, 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 blah. You'll remember the very in incredibly inappropriate jokes that we used to tell about your mama so when we were um, back in the early 
um, days of our youth and they were going around elementary school and junior high school. I don't know if they ever do them anymore because they're so non-PC. This is coming out really horribly. Um, and it's not because I'm talking, it's just because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, <laughs> you're probably yelling at the screen going, oh my God, just stop. Like, well, I just can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a hair cutter unless it's like my own hair. I know how to do men's hair. I don't know what to do with girls' hair. I guess this is not necessarily a girl. This is more classic, classical. Um, but this whole ridge thing is just horrible. So maybe if I bring it down a little bit. This whole layering thing, I don't even know. Anyway, so the saying, I don't even know how I got on that topic. Good God, I am so abstract at times. You think you're saying, yes, I do think, and I know. That's just how I am. Okay, so that little choppity chop thing looks like choppity chop. And it looks pretty crappy. So I'm going to approach this a little differently. I mean, you know, it's one of those things, remember, it's going to be outside. And I know, once I cut it, I can't put it back on. Well, you're wrong. There's glue. And it works really well on this hair, uh, which is disturbing. But, so this is getting a little bit better, maybe? Not really. This has got to just go. Should I? Yeah? All right. <laughs> well, did that help or not? What do you think? <laughs> I would say not really. Oh my God, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so that, that's just, I can hear my mother. And literally my mom's voice just came to me and said, Patrick, just stop. It's enough, it's enough. Okay, yes, mother. I hear you, thank you for your guidance. Um, all right, so there's that. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my God. I can't stop, mom, I'm sorry. It's just too terrible. I got it try something to fix it there that's all right there oh my god well the front will look really good and i'll love the front <laughs> oh my god oh this is terrible oh my god oh my god look at the Look at right here. <laughs> oh my goodness, 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 goodness. All right, so maybe that's like too extreme of a bet. Oh Lord. Oh Lordy. Lord, help me. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, that's a little bit better. I mean, it was so horrible, so anything's potential to become but oh my god what is going on down here it's like there's i just want to do everything at an angle i think that'll work better well see that lady lady a little less blunt body in the front business in the back so i'm doing a reverse mullet <laughs> oh, this is terrible Okay, so that was traumatizing and really, really bad. But, you know, with considering what I started with, which was terrible. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. All right, that's fine. It's not getting, it's not going to be, oh, Lord. Chaparama. All right, well, so that's super ugly uglicious and ugrific and i don't even know how to, exp to describe that more than really really terrible anywho all right well it's gonna go be outside so ta-da got holes in the neck i mean holes in the, the uh, ears i think i put a hole yeah i put a hole right back here put a hole here so that's got drainage 
Inside is pretty well scooped out for any kind of uh, soil. And the hole goes all the way through. And I am going to then fill it with soil. So I think I'm going to go around. This is rather good. And I'm going to trim out this hair now on the inside. Now, why, you may ask, are, am I going to do that? And you're probably yelling at me going, oh, God, don't do that. Why would you do that? Well, I'm doing it because when I put soil in it, I'm worried that the soil will creep up the hair and rot the hair. But this also, I think, will help me for gluing that hair even down even better so I can manage it visually. Um, I don't really care, you know, what it, what it looks like looks like um, on the outside. Um, that's not my concern. My concern is that I visually, when I say visually, I mean so I can see where it is sticking and where it's not. So there's that big old clump that just came out of there. And that actually helps a lot. Um, oh, God. Oh, God. That's terrible. That helps a lot, actually, to give me an idea of, aha, see, it is better. So now I can, I'm going to do another bead of glue. And put on my safety plastic because I don't want to take any chances with this stuff getting in my eyes. Um, I know it's like, why would it get in my eyes? But I'm just worried that's going to. So now I'm going to do the bead of glue even more around the edge. And this is not necessarily to glue it down to the plastic because it is already hitting the plastic in a lot of places. It's more to get the hair glued to the hair. So I'm doing a thick old bead of glue. Nice, thick amount. Now this stuff is obnoxious, toxic, um, I'm smelling. Trust me, you need to be somewhere where there's a lot of room around you and you have good, in that space, you have good ventilation. I don't have the window open right now, so I'm not going to get close to this stuff. But what I am going to do is I'm going to tack it down just a little bit, take in some strays. They'll all stick together. Put my cap back on. I'm going to take my metal end because it's not going to hurt my metal end any. Make sure that that's tapped ooh, 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 and it, that glue sticks instantly to the metal. Good golly. So just get it down. Get it in there. There we go. Get it in there. Spread around a little bit. Careful not to get it. Ooh, it's starting to set up. Get it on there. Make sure I got it everywhere on it. That should help. For some reason, this little area right here is not like sticking to it. I don't think it's gone through it. It keeps on going on top of it. So I'm gonna get some glue under it and then that should stick. Yeah, that's got glue under it and on it. So I'm good there. This is all gonna stick together now. If you see this area right here, it didn't have glue necessarily through it. So that's good. All right, and that's it for today. I don't need to wipe this off. I'll just let it dry, stick it on one of my paint pots. And there it is. I think that's pretty fabulous. And this one is actually going to stay exactly as it is. And dum, da, da, dum, ba, ba, bam. are you ready for this? It's done. I'm going to leave it down here to dry. I will then put soil in it little stray hairs, uh, and plant it with annuals that will look very pretty. I like the face as it is. The hair doesn't bother me too much. I mean, it's really horrible. But this is where I'm going to be looking at it from, is from the front. Um, the back is really not that much concern to me. And we'll see how long that hair stays the way it is in its arrangement. All right. Thank you for tuning in. And um, I've never said this before on these, but uh, subscribe and share. 
I think that's something you do on YouTube, on the tubes of you. Uh, it would be actually very funny uh, if this actually went somewhere and I would love it and I hope you're getting something out of it and not only learning but having fun and enjoying the process and the journey because I sure as heck am. This has been really fun. All right. Treat everybody with love. Love yourself. Love other people. And just try to always be a good person. All right. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.